Hi, and welcome back to NCTV's tutorial on how to edit using Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. We're just gonna pick up right where we left off and show you some more editing tricks. If you wanna navigate through your timeline here, you can just grab the playhead and, and move it along. Um, but if you wanna watch it in real time, that's done by just pressing spacebar. And there we go, my clip is playing, and if I press spacebar again, it'll stop. Um, but I can also shuttle through this footage much faster by using the J, K, and L buttons on my keyboard. If I press L a few times, you'll see I can watch in fast motion. They talk like chipmunks. And then if you press spacebar, you can stop. And then if you press J, you can go backwards in the same manner that you used L. Um, and then you can press K and it'll stop. So K and spacebar will both stop, but um, only spacebar will play it. So. That's one way to navigate quickly. Say we want this clip to start when Ben Stiller uh, joins the frame here. So I'm gonna show you how to trim a clip. If I just hover over the edge of a clip, any clip, um, you'll see that the selection tool turns into a red arrow. And at that point I can just click and drag it and it'll trim the clip um, without moving the entire clip. So if you have snapping turned on, which is this magnet right here, it's a way to quickly trim your clips to wherever you put your playhead. Um, if you turn snapping off, you'll notice that it no longer attaches itself to where the playhead is. So that's the snapping tool and the trim tool. If you simply want to just delete a portion of footage, so let's drag this back out and I'm going to cut it to where we want to start it. Um, if you just want to get rid of this portion, all you do is click it and press delete. If you want to delete multiple items, you can just click anywhere in the gray area and marquee them and then press delete and then that way you can deal with multiple clips at once. Now of course you don't have to delete them, you can highlight all of them and then move them or do whatever. So um, marqueeing is a really uh, convenient way to, to move clips around. Another way to move clips around is to use the track selection tool, which is right here. Um, the shortcut of that is A. And what it does is it highlights everything past the point where you click. So if I click here, it's gonna highlight everything. But if I click over here, you'll see that it didn't highlight this right here. Uh, if I click over here, it's only gonna highlight these. So it's really convenient if, say you edit your entire video, but you remember at the beginning you wanna put a title card and some music. Well, there's no room to do that. So an easy mistake to make would be to just grab this and move it or uh, to grab these and move it, but what you're doing is you're changing the timing of everything. So especially if there's other clips on this same layer, you risk deleting them by doing that. So by using the track selection tool, you make sure that you're, you're moving everything and not just a single clip. If I wanna quickly jump to this clip right here, I can just press down on my keyboard and it'll snap to whatever the edge of the clip is. So if I press up, it'll jump backwards. Um, and that's a really easy way to navigate if you have a lot of clips and you just want to move from one to the next. Sometimes you just want to focus on one video layer. Um, and in order to do that without changing any of the edits that you've made, this eyeball right here will allow you to hide and see tracks whenever you want. So if I'm working on this layer right here and I, I just don't want to see this, the eyeball will allow me to do that. Um, that. And that's really helpful, especially once you start to get a lot of video layers. The final thing I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is how to add a cross dissolve to something. So if I go to the beginning of this clip and I zoom in, let's press down to snap to it. Um, if I right click on the edge and go to apply tr default transition, you'll see that now I fade up from black. Um, I can extend this dissolve or, or make it shorter, whatever I want um, based on what I'm looking for. And I can also add cross dissolves to the audio and do the same thing. A shortcut for adding cross dissolves is using Command D. So if I press down and then uh, just click this clip right here and click Command D, it adds a cross dissolve and then I can just adjust it right there. So that's all we're gonna cover in this tutorial. Uh, we'll have more advanced editing later on, but uh, hopefully this was helpful and enough to get you started on your project.